Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Now we shall study the multiplication of algebraic expressions. In the multiplication of algebraic expressions, we shall be using the following rules of signs. Rule of signs. If we multiply, first part, if we multiply two positive numbers, then we will get the product to be a positive number. This implies if we multiply plus 2 multiplied by plus 5, the answer will be plus 10. Rule B. If we multiply two negative numbers, the product will be a positive number. This implies if we multiply minus 2 with minus 5, the answer will be plus 10. Rule C. If we multiply a positive num number with the negative number, the product will be a negative number. This implies if we multiply plus 2 with minus 5, we will get minus 10. Rule D. If we multiply a negative number with a positive number, product will be a negative number. This implies if we multiply minus 2 with plus 5, answer will be minus 10. Hence we conclude that the product of two factors with like signs is positive and the product of two factors with unlike signs is negative. Another rule that will be very useful while multiplication of algebraic expressions is that if a is any variable and m, n are positive integers, then if we are multiplying a power m with a power n, base will remain same while powers will get added up. This implies, for example, if we have 2 power m multiply by 2 power n, that will be same as 2 power m plus n. Or we can say, take another example, maybe it's 2 power 3 multiply by 2 power 5, that would be same as 2 power 3 plus 5 which will be equal to 2 power 8. Basically we will use this rule with some variable. So for example it may be x cube multiply by x square and we shall use this the rule and we will get the answer x power 3 plus 2 is equal to x power 5. Please read the question on the slide. Complete the table for area of a rectangle with given length and breadth. We know that area of rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. 
So if length is given as 3x and breadth is given as 5y, area has to be 3x multiplied by 5y and that would be 15xy. If length is 9y and breadth is 4y square, then area is equal to 9y multiplied by 4y square. Area will be equal to 36y cube. Note that here we have applied the rule if the base is same, powers get added up. So that is why y square and y power 1 changes to y cube on multiplication. Let's move ahead. If length is if length is equal to 4ab and breadth is equal to 5bc then area will be 4ab multiplied by 5bc bc which is equal to 20 a b square c please notice that there is only one a but two b's so b power 1 and b power 1 will give us b square and there is only one c hence the answer 20 a b square c and the last part of the table says that if length is 2L square M and breadth is 3LM square then area would be 2L square M multiplied by 3LM square that would be equal to 6L cube m cube because l square multiplied by l will give us l cube m multiplied by m square will give us m cube read the question on the slide it says find the volume of each rectangular box with given length breadth and height. Now let us solve the question. We know that volume of a rectangular box is equal to length into breadth into height. So according to the table first case length is equal to 2ax breadth is equal to 3by and height is equal to 5cz then volume will be equal to 2ax into 3by into 5cz we shall multiply the constants 2, 3 and 5 so it would come out to be 30. Now look at the literals. We have AX, BY and CZ. So there are no common literals. Hence the answer would be 30 A B. C, X, Y, Z. Consider the second part of the question where length is equal to M square N, 
breadth is equal to n square p and height is equal to p square m then volume will be m square n multiply by n square p multiply by p square m which can also be written as m square multiplied by m n multiplied by n square and p multiplied by p square and using the rule we will get m cube n cube p cube please notice that we have used the rule in m square and m power 1 similarly for n and n square p and p square base remains same and powers get added let us take up the third part of example 4 length is given as 2 cube breadth is 4 q square and height is given as 8 q cube then volume is equal to length into breadth into height Here, firstly we will multiply the constants 2 multiply by 4 multiply by 8. This gives us 64. Our next step is we see that all the terms have Q. So we apply our rule q power 1, q power 2 and q power 3 when multiplied will give same base but powers will get added which comes out to be 64 q power 6 which is the required volume.